Hello, members of the collective. This is the Cryptic Chameleon, and we are continuing our journey in Alan Wake. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Chameleon Collective as we work to make the word, world a better place in our own unique and uh, unique ways and to, you know, morph to fit different situations as we need to. All right, well, all while remaining ourselves, let's get back into the game. Okay. There's logs, logs, they're big, they're heavy, they're wood. They're logs, logs, they're better than bad, they're good. Everyone wants a log. You're gonna love it, log. All right. I hope I don't get taken down for copyright for singing that. All right. Going back up to the campgrounds. And there's light, which means it's all gonna be okay, right? Checkpoint. Oh, great. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Okay. Open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Uh-oh. That's that's not a good sign when the birds are attacking. The birds. I'm shining a light on you, bird. Birdie, birdie. I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. Yeah. But are you out of the woods yet? Are you? Anybody home? No. to get the car from the locked garage it would get me back to Barry faster and the headlights were a welcome bonus let's see how could I get inside hmm of course it won't be easy now there's there's no simple way to get inside I probably have to find the keys and why is it running that's the other question. How and why? Darn birds. Closed. <gasps> A page. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. Uh -oh. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Oh boy. Let's go into the men's room. I had to find the key to the garage. Locked. That's open. Nothing there. Nope, can't flush the toilet. All right, let's see. Garage keys. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its okay. own. Okay. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Uh -oh. Change one thing, and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw, and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Okay. <laughs> Gonna return to Barry in the car. If I make it to the car. There's no reason I shouldn't make it to the car, is there? Yeah, let's unlock this. Oh, come on. Watch, there's somebody in the car. They're going to run me over. Nope. Sweet.
Woohoo! I get to run people over. Nalu, thank you for becoming a member of the collective. It's appreciated. Wow, this is hard to steer. I can't even tell where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going. I really stink at steering, too. Oh, man, I am not great at this game. At this part of this game. Who gave me my license? I don't know. Yeah, come on, turn. I still got driving. But Nalu, thank you for becoming part of the collective. Okay, so Hello, folks. All right, run, Alan. Let's go. Getting back up to the cabin. Oh, come on. There we go. That's a distant shot there. Okay. Reload. All right, we're making it. Got to get back up to the, the cabin. It's been blocked off by the forces of whatever. The flame gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Was it, though? Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I mean, I guess he, he did say that, that was the best weapon in this instance, so. Is this my cabin? I can't remember. I bet you it's not. No, this is that. 
other cabin that has a TV in it. Okay. No, I've got to get all the way back up. As I begin to joke on myself. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, Moonshine Cave. We don't want to go that way. We'll come back up this way. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my really? wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old what? White Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building. Oh, boy. Nearby. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. It's a lot of birds. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. What's this say? The darkness controls the taken. Okay. Great, thanks. Trying to see which way they're coming from. I can hear them. Darn these birds. Like, I have to beat them, but. Working on it. Oh, you sneaky little. How many birds are there? Beat the birds. Yeah, it's so easy. How much battery do I have up? Three? Come on. Guess I'll get back on the porch. Then I don't know which way they're coming from. Barry, you can open the door now. They're gone. 
Where are the batteries that it said I could pick up? There they are. There we go, Barry. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Ah, uh, I was. Except I'm not. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. Yeah. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. Dun dun dun. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. What? For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. No. I couldn't put a single word on paper. Dun dun dun. I wonder what will happen. Alright, Barry. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, okay. you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there yeah, yeah she sounds so real. See you soon. Have a great day. Yeah, I was gonna say, she Hope does. you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. Uh oh. That that wasn't freaky at all. Nice music. All right, episode two completed. All right. Previously on Alan Way. Here we go. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? So this is a summary. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos. Dun dun dun! How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. No. Listen, she's I not resourceful. She's, she's controlled. I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Uh -oh. okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Okay. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking Hi, for Randolph. Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Pixie Kitty, thank oh, you for the sure. follow. Nice girl. And for well, joining the, the collective. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? Pixie Kitty, how have you been doing lately? Well, I'll show you her trailer. Okay. Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. Sure as she I was does. saying, Al. I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. Great. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends. Oh, boy. Through, and get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway love, to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I love Pixie right Kitty's uh, emotes. Okay. She's got a ton of anyway, them. There was an island I've got there several owned by a guy called Thomas that she, Zane. That now, I've gotten some of the from articles I found out and make him out to be Mario a famous ones writer. and stuff like but that. I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Divers Isle. Oh but boy. The volcano under the lake erupted in 1970 and Zane went down with the island. Oh. Creepy. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. That's weird. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. All right, I'm following you. Randy's dogs! I have a feeling this guy's going to get corrupted and become 
one of those things. He's going to become one of the Taken. Better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. Oh, they boy. Lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The Scratching Hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Okay. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh. What? The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died. Dumb and she birds. Had some kind of a breakdown. Randolph, why are you taking me near the garbage? Like. Come on, man. Take me where I need to go. Time is of the essence here. No, seriously, like <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> so much time. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. Yay. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Okay. Let's go talk to Rose, who was manipulated into having us come here. Which isn't creepy at all. Not at all. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. That's Rose, not right. you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. What? Somebody please, like... Hey! This is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? You drank the coffee? Really? Dun, dun, dun. For you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Okay. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Okay. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Okay. Uh-oh. What the... Who? Where? Dun, dun, dun. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Hmm. I call her Barbara Jacker. She's very strict. I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. Uh -oh. I hate it, but I know she's right. Dun dun dun. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. What? She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay. So obviously this whole thing is in his mind or Alice's mind or something. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Hey, look, there's my book. All right. Observe. So handsome. Welcome to the O oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Oh gosh. Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Just a silly treat. Great. Milk and sugar on the counter there. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. 
how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. Ooh. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, uh -oh. looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sh Okay, good. So he called the sheriff's station. Get in the car. What car? There's 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 no, there's a car this way, I guess. I have no weapon. I'm in the darkness. Wait, what was that? Uh, we got the radio. Gotta turn on the radio to listen to the night. Come on, let me turn on the dulcet night tones of that guy that I met. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you. Try and take a shortcut to get to the car. It's not working. This place is a maze that doesn't need to be. Oh, generic stock footage of baby crying. All right, let's see if we can make it to the car. Oh, great. Who's this guy? Oh, it's the owner guy oh you're gonna get it now why uh oh god knows what you've done to that poor girl this is agent nightingale fbi get him up hemingway you're under arrest okay you for what muscle all unload right in your goddamn face stay right where you are Blaine. what bullet time kind of the heck really what are i'm standing right here you goddamn maniac uh-oh woo i hated to leave barry behind but there was no way i'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper okay so we're going to stop it from there uh last time i went a little bit over on the recording this time i'm going to go a little bit under just to kind of get that consistency because if i start this police chase part i have a feeling like i'm not going to be able to um stop in enough time so here's the deal we're gonna uh wrap up not the stream but we're gonna wrap up this video so if you are enjoying these videos then please hit the subscribe button hit the follow button leave me a comment down below i promise i'll get back to you and keep your eye out for any social contact information down below I'm on Twitter, I have a Discord, and I may have some other social networks that are up and running in the future, uh, including a private run that I can run off of my Raspberry Pi. So I'm still working on that, but I'm hoping to do it. It would be fun. So anyway, until next time, I'll see all of you video watchers in the future, and uh, take care. For those on the live stream, don't go anywhere.